Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first look of the Ionic 5. So this is the new Hyundai or Hyundai uh, fully electric vehicle. Uh, it looks like a small hatchback, but in person it is really a big looking hatchback. It's very spacious, uh, interesting looking, uh, very sharp uh, square LED lights, a little curved lines, but mostly sharp lines. Tell me what you think about this design. I think it's very unique, but uh, still looks pretty much appealing to me personally. And uh, let's uh, take a look. So this is some matte color. I'm gonna check inside as well. So if I can back up so you can see the whole car. Really looks interesting. We can come close here. You can see those square LED lights. You can have the fog lights. This is a matte color, then some plastic on the bottom uh, let's check the price so this is all in german 170 horsepower top speed is 185 19 inch alloys few options i guess 46,222 with some options base price is 42,000 euros interesting alina says camera on the top Really interesting design. So you can see here you have a physical cylinder, you have a touch knobs. I'm gonna come to the other side and then we're gonna move inside. So really interesting interior, like exterior details. Uh, car is very interested. And look at this bumper. So they added this creases. Uh, it looks really nice. And then there's a big alloy closed design for better aerodynamics better efficiency and look at the color it's matte metallic finish have some strikes here same pattern on the rear 19 inch wheels so this was supposed to open but it's not opening for some reason even the the rear isn't opening they've it was working at some point but then it stopped I believe the 12 volt battery is not hooked so there was a warning of low battery while the main battery is charged, 12 volt battery is also very important in electric cars. And we can see the LED design on the rear, square. Really, really interesting design of the Ionic 5. It's definitely a large car, it's very wide, very spacious. So it's gonna find its buyers group. We have an interesting spoiler on the top. Just has two openings, stoplight on the top and a little shark fin. You can see when the doors handles close, the profile is slim, so better aerodynamics. So we're gonna come inside. Okay, we're gonna let's check the interior of the Ionic 5. Our plastic nice smooth leather soft to the touch it's gonna kill this music so we don't get a copyright strike nice big buttons Very simple electronic seats cloth seats interesting interior let's hop inside have a nice uh, big light switch it's auto hold auto park and brake traction control you can open the uh, rear from the driver position, Irvin's interesting speaker. Zooming out, <clears throat> just gonna back up a little bit. Interesting big steering wheel, kind of minimalist. Uh, no labeling Ionic, but it looks really interesting. One digital speedo <clears throat> and a bigger screen there. So zooming back in, these are touch buttons. Driving modes, Echo Sport Normal. Oh, parking levers on the bottom. Kind of interesting position. Battlefield recuperation, classical turn signals, wipers. And interesting, this is white. I believe maybe you can get this in black because I saw you can have the black theme as well. Hazards, nice volume control, EV start stop climate control shortcuts and this is really practical the car is just very spacious spacious glove compartment 
speaker on the top mirror view around is quite good passenger airbag emergency button lights these lights are just for the car show this is a nice carpeting a wow, really huge personal mirror light on the top so just let's see the map looks quite nice we have here a lot of apps let's see the not that um, new V so 98% map looks good Hyundai and have here settings display blue light filter oh that's nice time layout so we can have a black themes you can see this i believe you can get this basil in black as well it looks pretty dope and at the bottom we have a usb 12 volt socket nice big also carpet on the bottom over here cup holders uh, usbs wireless charging this is just my cable for the for the power bank uh, nice big uh, rubber mat here uh, and one over here nice armrest uh, the seats are very comfy they're textile but there's always plus and minus with those quite spacious on the back so at the front uh, plenty of space for two meter tall person or 6.6 .6. and it feels really roomy there's a lot of uh, room so Overview is nice, really interesting uh, mirrors. You see the hood. And let's check the uh, rear. So I'm a little bit, so this would be fine for me. And let's check the rear space. We're not allowed to open the front, bo front bonnet. Uh, I like these door handles as well. Really wide doors, so easy to access if you have a child. See, they're really long, have a double ceiling, so should have a good soundproof. You can push this up so you can tilt the seats. They're not connected, but it's really interesting. So inside, plenty of feet room, plenty of knee room. For two more, you know, you're a tall person. Even if I'm sitting in the front, we have a nice errand on the side in the B pillar. A little hook on the top, another light. And we have a two USB A chargers, a little compartment flat because of the battery. A uh, good overview, as you can see. Nice big windows. It's super tall here, and it's very comfortable. This is comfy. This is comfy. You can extend a armrest with two cup holders. Now, moment of truth. So I'm straightened up. Um, have a little bit touching, but. I'm comfortable still plenty of headspace for an average person this car is uh, loaded with space it's just a very spacious car and there's a lot of knee room on the side let's check the rear you only gotta watch when you're opening doors kids are opening so it's super long okay, everyone we got the power trunk working again so we press on the bottom it'll open up so as you can see, it opens quite tall. So coming inside, you can see the back of the camera, LED lights you can close up top, and it's really uh, massive, uh, wide, uh, spacious hatchback. Uh, we have a almost flat bottom, nice carpet. We have the uh, extra storage space on the bottom. You can see actually through the, through the front, uh, you can actually put this as well I like this so you can see there's an extra space on the bottom uh, on the bottom are the batteries so that's it a little space on the here on the side so no, no tether points there's a 12 volt socket actually there is a tether point here and there it seems plastic uh, we have a light on the left side and seats knocked down 60 40 very spacious and wide cargo space seems very practical so exterior wise the car is really massive it looks on the pictures like a classical city hatchback but it's really big in person 
Um, interesting design of the taillights, little uh, square LEDs. Ionic 5, have the camera on the rear. It's probably the only round thing because it's all sharp, edgy. And I have to show you the charging port. There we go. So we have the Type 2 uh, AC and then combined uh, CCS for DC fast charging. And you can press here to close. Quite nice, it's concealed in the car body just like on a Tesla. Hello everyone, so it uh, turns out there's an Ionic 5 in the city center, so I just wanted to show you the hood. Uh, you have a nice uh, front area. Uh, there's a little light here, so enough to put uh, charging cables. And we can close this up. You can see here, uh, we got a 12 volt battery, circuits, brake fluid, coolant, and this is for the user, the washer fluid. Uh, it's nice to get gas ruts and engine like EV cover. How do you like the Ionic 5? Uh, I think it's a great SUV, a little retro and the exterior, modern on the interior. A uh, very interesting design. Tell me your comments below. How do you like the new Hyundai? And I'm going to see you in the next video. I'm on the Munich EAA. So if you want to see more cars, uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos of the new cars. So stay safe as always. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.